Scusi. I didn't realize we were rolling already. Okay. So, as the title of this video, or as I titled this video, Never Will I Ever, Liar Liar, Pants on Fire. All right. So, I'm going to feature three decks in this video. Three decks that are as proclaimed by me time and time again oh i have an aversion i'm never going to use those i don't have any blah 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 all kinds of bullshit that i said bullshit because you know what we're people we change um i'm always open to changing um i just find it funny that whenever i make some grand pronouncement I go and contradict myself like literally 24 hours later but uh, at times it's been 24 hours later at other times it's been 24 years later but you, you get the gist right so for the longest time I only owned one Marseille deck it was Mary Packard's Marseille and well I I, I traded it away because I, I never used it I have an aversion to Marseille I have an aversion to Marseille, I say. It rhymes. I have an aversion to Marseille, I say. But my favorite tarot app is this one. Ancient Tarot of Marseille. And right away it brings up the menu. And Ancient Tarot of Marseille. And this is the... Um, different readings that you can get on this app. There's the Gypsy Tarot, the Cross Method, the Star of, of King Solomon, and the 14 cards. The Gypsy Tarot, you can choose Love, Career, and Family Circle. And I don't know if it's going to show on screen, but I love this app. I've had this app probably since my first smartphone. Like, like this is, I, this, this app has, I, I, I'm pretty sure I paid for it. If I didn't pay for it, then I'm glad it's still supported for free. Um, it's a very simple app, but it's my favorite tarot app. It's the most accurate. I, you know, I'll, I'll, let me pick one for career. Okay. So the cards show up like this and you shake your phone and it mixes the cards. I'm pretty sure I paid, this is version 3.0, I'm pretty sure I paid for this app, but it might be a free app, I don't know, take a look, My, I, have an I have the Android, um, I have an Android phone, so this is on, uh, on the Play Store, so after you shake them up a little bit, this says draw cards, so you click, and there you have it, and then the, the cards just do this until you select them, I'm pretty sure I must have showed this in a video, so I'm going to just pick three cards. And this is a past, present, future reading. What did I say it was for? Career? Whoa. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so my cards are Arcanum number 13 for past, uh, La Roue de la Fortune, Wheel of Fortune for present, and the Emperor, L'Empereur for the future. And there's a button that says start the reading and the reading brings up the card and you read it and I'll read um, I'll read it because m my favorite thing aside from the fact that this app is like I love the coloration on these cards like you know for Marseille like on this like parchment kind of background um, Marseille I have an aversion to that stark white background especially ones that are primary colors blue red and yellow or blue red and green and yellow and I have an aversion to Marseille because I knew someone who read Marseille and the guy was a little skeezy but no he was very skeezy but anyway I digress I'll read what it says for death because I love the translation it's a translation it's not an interpretation death often interpreted like death but it is not the card represents the deep and radical changes as that can be interpreted as the moment of the harvest of your efforts. 
The card without name can be perceived as, as the shadow of the fool. It moves and this card allows him to make the changes necessary for his transfer. You re-examine your professional situation and you are at the edge of a reconversion or radical change of activities. The mystery without name suggests you admitting your errors to be able to advance. So that's the past. So I love this. Okay, I'm not going to read you the whole reading because uh, I'm pretty sure it's accurate. so far it looks accurate than that. It's a little personal. All right. So, so I started, started thinking after like, I don't know, 15 years of looking at these cards. Geez, you know what I've never seen? I've never seen a Marseille deck with this coloration. So I asked a few friends who were knowledgeable in Marseille and they shrugged their shoulders too because it's, it's kind of an unusual coloration for Marseille, right? And then completely at random, one day, I come across... I think it was, it must have been a video on YouTube, I don't know, this one. The person was doing a flip through or doing a reading with this deck. This is majors only. My app is majors only. Uh, as far as the pips are concerned for me, for Marseille, I can read playing cards for the pips if I'm looking for that kind of reading. I don't, um, because I've been using this app, my only... The only thing I love about Marseille is this app. And it's all pips, readings. So this is Marseille Tarot. It's uh, published by Los Carabeo. I got this one, something incredibly crazy, uh, $13 Canadian, shipped for free. Um, it w On the book depository, I think they were having a sale, like a 30% off on it too. It's like, anyway. Even at its regular price of $18 shipped uh, for free, it's... <laughs> so, let me preface this by saying I know zilch about um, Tarot, tar uh, Tarot de Marseille. What do I know about Tarot de Marseille? I read La Voix du Tarot by um, Alejandro Hodrowski. And... Um, La Voix du Tarot is, um, is a Hodorovsky book, so I really enjoyed it. I, I, anyways, I'm a bit of a fan. I follow him on Facebook, like a groupie. But anyway, I digress. Um, but I don't own Hodorovsky's deck because for whatever reason, I guess I, I thought it would always be available and now I regret that I didn't get one because I can't seem to locate it anywhere, so online so they must be like out of print or something but whatever here we are i would have only wanted that deck because i love hodorowsky so it comes in a two-part box okay like a lot of los carabeos um oracle decks and i was going on this long thing about i know nothing about i know nothing about marseille it, this one says it's based on claude claude bordel 1751 so at the top here so if you if you are a marseille connoisseur that's that's who they say this is comes with a little book booklet inside i haven't even opened the booklet i haven't even opened the booklet but it actually looks it looks pretty decent um it's a los carabeo one so it's in multiple languages which is cool all right and I didn't have to open it because, well, Marseille, um, I've been reading tarot forever, right? Whether it's Marseille, Bradwaite Smith, uh, um, Thoth, um, whatever, the app. But what I love is that I hear, I hear the interpretations tra from that, um, trans from the translation in the app in my head when I'm reading these cards. So I'm going to do a flip through to show you. They're not in order. These are the backs. You see, it's a glossy cardstock. It's a nice, durable cardstock. Um, Size-wise, oh, I don't have a standard 
tarot deck to show you. It's larger than a standard tarot deck. So it's, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's larger, but not crazy larger. I don't have anything to compare it to. Oh, hang on, I do. So, because there, there's so many, and I think that the issue is that um, there's been, there's so many Marseille decks on the market. There's also all those historical reproductions, from what I understand, that are very popular with people who love Marseille. Um, so this is uh, the title card of the Holy Card Tarot. Just This is standard tarot size, and this is what this Marseille Major, Majors deck is sized at. And then I'm going to show you the cards because that's really why I purchased them. It's close enough. It's got the rich colors. So the rich, clear colors on this beige background. So the this one appeals to me. Let me see if this is better lighting. This one appeals to me um, because of the coloration and because it's not on a stark there's there's no stark white background even the backgrounds of the cards are painted are colored in it's um it's approachable for me it's approachable it's not identical to the one in the app in terms of coloration but it's but it's similar enough and I'm really enjoying it. I do the same kind of readings that's on my app with it. And um, yeah, so never will I ever read Marseille. Never will I ever buy a Marseille deck. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I'm actually enjoying this one a lot. A lot. I'm pretty sure it's the faces. Oh my God. Look at the face on Temperance. What a screen. Okay. So. The tower. And the pop. So yeah, this is the Scarabeo. Cheap and cheerful. Really nice. I love these... Uh, these card backs again if you're knowledgeable in Marseille I bet you know it's okay it's okay roll your eyes it's okay because I'm not so if it is a reproduction of um, the gentleman Claude Bourdel's uh, tarot probably that's why it looks the way it does all right I'm gonna break up I'm, I'm gonna I'm going to move over to, I have an aversion to Le Norma. I freaking hate Le Norma. But I have a deck that keeps coming back into my life that the last time it boomeranged back, I just hung on to it and I threw it on uh, my bookshelf. So it doesn't live with my other decks. It lives on a, on a bookshelf with um, the two books by the same author. So my Titania's fortune cards live with two books by Titania Hardy. One of them is called The Oracle, O-R-A-Q-L-E, uh, which is this cute little velvet um, hardback book with a velvet uh, finish on it with um, pictures in it, with questions. It's a, you, literally, you, ask specific, you ask a question from the list and then you, you read the answer and it's a spooky from the 90s and I have her witch her witchcraft compendium I don't know compendium of witchcraft I don't know also beautiful hardback it's like it's a coffee table book uh, 90s, 90s witchcraft 90s uh, it's so I threw this there well I don't know I I watch a lot of um, French language YouTube and um, And someone was doing a flip through of the new, 
because this one was also was was recently reprinted and I think the box is pink I was doing a flip through of the new one and I'm looking at that going oh, god I hate that deck but man these images these are the backs but these images take me back they take me back to the early 2000s and the reason why I have an aversion to this Lenormand inspired deck is because when I was re when I got it in the early 2000s there was um, there were garbage people in my life and um, the cards kept warning me of the garbage people so it was very the readings came across very doomy gloomy that kind of thing right but <laughs> it was accurate anyway so as you can see the art style is these photographs um, these photographs and they look like the negatives of the photographs and then the negatives are colorized it's pretty it's pretty cool all this I'm not gonna do a full flip through all, all this to tell you what liar liar never will I ever never will I ever read Le Normand because I have an aversion to it liar liar pants on fire I took I took these down from my shelf and from the bookshelf sorry with the, from the bookshelf and um, they will be residing with the rest of my decks because I have been I have been reaching for them yeah you know like this Lenormand way of reading is 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 creepy and all that it's very mundane and and it really zeroes in on uh, the vicissitudes of life and uh, the garbage people do to each other and kind of, you know, the garbage things that we do to each other and all that stuff. But here we are. And the last one. Never will I ever buy a Marseille deck. Oh, those pips. I can't stand those pips because for me, the uh, illustrated pips slow me down. They, they confuse me a little bit where I have to like think about what's the meaning, right? Whereas clear pips, clean pips, like in, um, like, you know, let's minors, illustrated minors. But when the minors are clear pips, like in playing cards or in a Marseille deck, too loud, too fast. Just, just, just like the Lenormand, too, too direct, too loud, too fast. It doesn't give me a chance to catch my breath, especially when it comes to like the harder messages. I had gone to a metaphysical shop in my, um, in my city that I had just discovered, and I ended up trading for a very old. I ended up trading in some of my decks for a very old copy of I think my I think this is the JJ Swiss um, is that what it's called the JJ Swiss oh my god I'm terrible people the one JJ Swiss the one JJ yeah one JJ Swiss or is it JJ one Swiss and eh. it's these right anyway these were sitting sad and forlorn on a shelf lovingly wrapped in a ribbon and i'd never seen them in person i don't even i don't think i've ever even seen them on video because i, I have no interest in them why would i even seek them out oh my gosh first of all this card stock this is like belgian belgian card stock of years gone by all right beautiful but it's the colors that got me there's brown there's brown in this deck. So it has the red, the yellow, the blue, and the green. But it's got brown. And the brown adds a warmth to this deck. That I, I don't know, I find it really enchanting. I love it. Now, I had told the person who owns the store she had this deck out and I think the decks had make me an offer and, and I just traded I traded some decks for it and um, I told 
the previous owner of this deck. I said, I'm going to keep it safe for you because you might miss it. Somewhere in your tarot down the line in your tarot journey, you might become nostalgic for your first deck. I'll keep it safe for you. So here we are. Look at this. Oh my God. I love this sun card. So yeah. So I brought it home. I did the usual thing with it. I popped it in the box with the sandalwood incense. The cardstock absorbed the sandalwood incense scent. Um, I love that it's worn. There's a couple of coffee stains, a couple of oil stains on it, like someone was eating a sandwich and did a reading. I love it. I love it. I think, I don't think, no, I know. I would never buy this deck brand new. I don't think I would buy any Marseille deck brand new. Uh, and I think this is Marseille. Well, it's, it looks like Marseille to me, like in Marseille style. It also reminds, it, it's, it's also a bit of a hybrid. It reminds me of Italian playing cards. And, um, And I love that I think it has Juno as the Empress and Jupiter as the Emperor. See, I don't even know it that well, but you know, I'll, I'll, I'll draw a couple of cards and I love the way it feels. The cardstock, it's worn and, and almost like cloth. Okay, well, here's, where is it? Another one of my favorites, La Lune. It, it pairs really beautifully with my Oracle of the Radiant Sun. Um, here it is, Jupiter. Jupiter and Juno is the Empress, which I may have passed, but I just thought, oh, Jupiter and Juno. So, yeah. And that's it for me. Never will I ever, liar, liar, pencil fire. So tell me in the comment section, are you like me? Do you make like these grand pronouncements? Oh, I'm never going to do this. All right. Oh, it's like I have an aversion. I'm never going to get that and whatever. And then you go out and you change your mind because that's what we do. We're human beings. We change our minds. I just wanted to share this with you because I just thought it was funny. It started out with uh, taking that Le Le um, Titania's uh, fortune cards down from the shelf and trying it out after almost 20 years of avoiding it. And then coincidentally trading for a 1JJ Swiss and then finding the right Marseille majors, um, artistically, you know, in the artistic sense, that um, appeal to me. So yeah, what was I saying? Oh my gosh, I got sidetracked. Okay, in the comments below, have you ever done that? Have you ever made like some grand pronouncement that you're never going to do something regarding like, you know, uh, this subject matter, and then you change your mind and you enjoy it? Share. I'd love to read it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ooh, this is my mug. This is a cup I ordered from St. Joseph's Oratory in Montreal. Um, love it. I'm having some coffee. Anyway, share, and I'd be happy to read it. Thank you, and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.